FinFET is a non-planar dual-gate transistor used in silicon architecture to improve computational density over traditional designs. What? <laughs> that now leaves you with a whole sentence you don't know instead of just one word. Thanks. I'm going to go through it step by step and explain each part to you. I'll keep all that text up on the screen so you can see what's going on as I go through the explanation. So the first part, FinFET, stands for Fin Field Effect Transistor. So called because of three things. Fin, because it can be easily identified by the silicon fin that forms the main body of the transistor. Field effect, because an electronic field is used to control the electronic conductivity of the material. Transistor, because it's a transistor, an electronic component which is traditionally used in standalone applications as a form of amplification or switch. So all in all, you have your amplification controlled by an electronic field using a device that looks like a fin. Continuing through the explanation, we get to non-planar, where planar means something that's on a single plane. A plane is a theoretical, infinitely wide, flat surface. Imagine a desk that doesn't have an edge, it goes on forever. So then when we say non-planar, we're referring to something that's not constrained to a single plane, e.g. as the flat plane and it has another dimension. Although not perfectly accurate, you could consider a piece of paper to be planar, whereas the origami that you form from that to be non-planar. Most people would consider it easier to say three-dimensional, but it sounds much less fancy than non-planar. Next we come on to the gate. The gate is what controls the electrical conductivity of the transistor. In a dual gate setup, two gates are controlled simultaneously by the same input to allow for greater performance in comparison to a single gate setup. A typical transistor has three pins, the source, the gate, and the drain. By controlling the voltage at the gate, we can control the current flowing from the source to the drain. You could consider this as like being a tap. The source being the water in the pipe, the gate being the tap that you turn, and the drain being the sink. By controlling the tap, you change the amount of flow from the source to the drain. As well as being a switch, the transistor can also be considered to be an amplifier because the output is higher than the input. Just like classical architecture is the design of buildings, silicon architecture is the design of silicon. I think it would be safe to assume that the reason the term architecture is used is because if you were to scale up the appearance of a chip, it might look a little bit like a city map, maybe. This is where things start to get a little more complex, but if you stuck with me this far, then I'm sure you'll be fine. Density is the amount of something that you can fit into a certain area or volume. Imagine you have a square that's one centimeter by one centimeter, and that square weighs 50 grams. Now consider another square, but it weighs 100 grams. The one that weighs 100 grams is more dense than the 50 gram one, because there's more of the measurable unit in that area. Let's consider flops. This stands for floating point operations per second, but one has a greater flops than the other. This has higher computational density because there's more computational power in the same area. As society develops, we have a greater demand for computers to automate tasks, and we can't just keep making silicon chips larger and larger because, amongst other things, we won't be able to manufacture them. Because we therefore need to keep the area of the chips approximately the same, we need to shrink the size of each of the millions of transistors. However, as the transistors shrink below 90 nanometers and smaller, they start to leak current. Imagine, as with the tap, a tap starts to leak water, a transistor starts to leak current. At 28 nanometers, if you shrink your transistor any further, it's no longer effective as it leaks too much. One way to stop the leakage of 2T transistors is to use other chemicals and minerals to manufacture the chips. The problem here is that it becomes far too expensive to do on a commercial scale. By utilising three-dimensional or non-planar transistors, we can increase the volume while remaining at the same area. A silicon wafer is only 775 microns thick, and changing it from a 2D design to a 3D design doesn't massively affect that overall thickness, because the thicknesses are so shit Shit? How did that fucking word go from? <laughs> the thickness is still very thin and only changes marginally because of the change in design. So there you have it. FinFET is a non-planar dual gate transistor used in silicon architecture to improve computational density. Easy, wasn't it? It only took me 10 hours to record it. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below if you want to see more and leave a comment
if you really hated it or you have more to say than just this or this. Thanks very much for watching. This has been CRT.